There is a saying that one of the first symptoms of a heart attack is denial. But it can happen to anyone. As a former member of our News 3 Now family recently found out, Susan Simon is here with the story. Susan? Hi, Eric and Charlotte. Well, if you're thinking, I eat well, I exercise, I maintain a healthy weight, so I'm not at risk, you would be on the same page as former News 3 Now sports director Jay Wilson. Jay never wants to be the focus of anything, but his story is one we can all learn from. This is how we know and remember Jay Wilson. Barry Alvarez, ladies and gentlemen. Dad, go I'm doing this with you, Jay. You know, we got a really thing going here. This is nice. I like meeting you like this. In his 40-year career, Jay gave people a front row seat to some of the biggest sports moments in Wisconsin history. It's almost time. Time for the 97th Rose Bowl game. Between he was known as the Dean of Madison Sports until he stepped away from television in 2019. But this is his reality now. How are you feeling? Good. All right. Jay is doing cardiac rehab at UW Health's Research Park. All right, let's see what your blood pressure is okay. doing. Like everyone else here, Jay is recovering from a heart attack. It's something he never expected to happen, and that's what he wants to share. So how about this, <laughs> having you on this side of the camera? It's weird. I, don't, I can't remember the last time this happened. It is so good to see you. It's good to be seen. What have you been doing since we last saw you at the station? Well, I was I was retired, technically. I still was doing some things uh, with Big Ten Network and uh, some state high school uh, tournament broadcasting. And I've worked here at Pleasant View 15 to 20 hours a week. And we have three grandchildren. So my wife hands me a list of things to do most days. And so I do that, and I love it. So I you're living it. your beautiful life. Uh, it's, it's as good as one could imagine. But just a few weeks ago, Jay got a wake-up call. Yeah. Uh, the first week in June, I've been doing play-by-play -play of the state high school track meet in lacrosse for 15 years. And I always get tired. This time I got home from lacrosse and I was more than tired. I had a tightness in my chest. Through this whole experience, I never had the, oh my gosh, the, oh, it's the big one experience. It was a heaviness and a tightness. There was no major pain, but something was off. So Jay asked his wife to take him to urgent care. The EKG showed, you know, that little blippy thing it had some little blip down here that was a flashing light to him. And the day that happened, June 9th, was the 40 year anniversary of my dad dying of a heart attack. And all I could think of is, I don't want June 9th to be the worst day in this family's history. It wasn't just any heart attack, but a type known as the Widowmaker. Dave's very lucky. First of all, he did the right thing by eventually seeking medical attention. Dr. Amish Ravel is an interventional cardiologist at UW Hospital. In Jay's case, he had blockage in that front artery, that LAD, or uh, left anterior descending artery, the so-called wid Widowmaker artery. Not a term that I like. Doctors reestablished blood flow to two blockages with a couple of stents. The message here, if Jay had waited longer, his outcome could have been different. It's important, you know, so so once a patient has symptoms, especially chest discomfort in their chest, don't dismiss it. Take home message if you, you know, time is muscle. If we can get that artery open within 60 minutes, we're golden. It's the golden hour. Well, we have a family history. My dad, my three brothers, my three older brothers all had some sort of heart incident when they were 62 or 63 years old. And I'm 63, so that all came together, it all added up and it made sense to go in and thank goodness I did. Since that day, Jay's been focusing on his health, exercising, eating right, and he's down 16 pounds. My eating habits were lousy, but now I'm on the Mediterranean diet and I'm still trying to find out some spices that taste like anything. But You can smile. It's, yeah. it's not that grim, the Mediterranean diet. Well, you, you can do it. Those fast food stuff were pretty good through the years. I did joke. It was a lot of 12-year-old boy food. It was mm -hmm. chicken nuggets. It was fish sticks. Jay and his wife, Jill, have been married 35 years, but no longer take anything for granted. He's not invincible. Yeah, you know, we've just always thought he was Superman. Never occurred to us that he would have a heart issue except we knew his genetics. With three kids and three grandkids, Jay is thankful to the doctors and nurses who stopped history from repeating itself. When I came out of the procedure, um, I don't cry much. 
<laughs> but that was as emotional as I've been in a long time because I knew it was fixed and I saw my wife and I knew that we could keep doing this. <laughs> now we're all crying. <laughs> Well, acting early and knowing your family history, as we see with Jay, are the two key factors that can prevent serious heart damage. On channel3000.com, take a few minutes and freshen up on the symptoms to look out for, for both men and women. What an amazing story. Yeah. It was and so good to see him. Yeah. Oh, he yeah. looks tremendous. And Jay, we will find you spices, I promise <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, he doesn't sound real excited about the Mediterranean <laughs> diet. Well, but. jelly beans. I, I know we're tight for time, but his wife told a hilarious story that when we went to the Rose Bowl, he had a four pound bag of jelly beans mm -hmm. and his luggage was too heavy, so he took his clothes out so he could keep his jelly beans. No, not anymore. Stay well, Jay. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome.